Welcome back to Study Animated. Today, we are delving into the intricate world of oocyte development. Join me as we explore the fascinating structure of each follicle from its early formation to the moment of ovulation. If you enjoy this content, don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's get started. The journey begins with the formation of the oocyte the female reproductive cell essential for human life. Today, we'll focus on the detailed structure of each follicle in this remarkable process. Let's start at the very beginning. In the fetal stage, millions of primordial follicles form, each housing a potential oocyte. These primordial follicles consist of a central egg cell or primary oocyte surrounded by a layer of flat cells known as follicular cells. As the female fetus develops, these primordial follicles mature into primary oocytes. By birth, a girl already possesses all the primary oocytes she'll have in her lifetime. At this stage it is called secondary follicle. This follicle have primary oocyte and extensions of the follicular cells as teca cells and granulosa cells. However, they remain arrested in the diplotene stage of the prophase until puberty. At puberty, only 6,000 to 8,000 of secondary follicles are remain from the 1 million crowd before birth. Also among them, only a select few primary oocytes resume development from the diplotene stage, initiating folliculogenesis, and as the follicle progresses, it transforms into the tertiary follicle. This stage of follicle is characterized by the central secondary oocyte surrounded by a layer of granulosa cells and outer layers called teca interna and teca externa cells and the additional layer, the zona pellucida, separates the oocyte from the granulosa cells. This marks the beginning of the journey towards maturity. In stage, the first polar body has formed inside the secondary oocyte. The final stage of folliculogenesis is the mature graphene follicle. Here, the secondary oocyte again got arrested in metaphase with its first polar body is surrounded by multiple layers of granulosa cells, a single zona pellucida, teca interna and externa forming a fluid-filled cavity. The cumulus oophorus, also known as antrum, a mound of granulosa cells, cradles the oocyte within the follicle. Teca cells persist on the outer layers. At the peak of maturity, the graphene follicle ruptures, releasing the fully developed oocyte into the fallopian tube. This is the moment of ovulation, and the oocyte is now prepared for potential fertilization. After the ovulation, the graphene follicle transform into corpus luteum, which maintains the progesterone level during the whole pregnancy period of nine months. But if the pregnancy do not occurs, the corpus luteum degenerates into corpus albicans within the 14 days of ovulation. And there you have it: the journey of oocyte development, focusing on the detailed structure of each follicle. Understanding these stages is crucial for grasping the complexity of female reproductive biology. If you found this video informative, remember to like, subscribe and share. Until next time, stay curious.